Let's be honest, the current meta in Tarkov is in a pretty boring state, and it's definitely clear that many people are starting to become frustrated, to say the least. In this video, I'm going to do my best to break down what I think the current issues with the meta are, and how it might be able to be fixed for the better. Stick around, and let's get into it. So if you've played Tarkov for more than a few days, you know that Tarkov has so many guns to pick from. So then why exactly are we almost exclusively seeing UMPs, RD-704s, and SCARs in Raid? Here's where the past issues start to arise. You see, unfortunately as of current, the way that Tarkov's recoil compensation works seems to favor slow firing weapons, and almost entirely ignores guns that shoot faster than 700 RPM. Take a look at this clip from Landmark, which was from about a year ago. And now let's compare that clip to the current HK with the same build. A pretty drastic difference. Now before anyone runs to the comments to say that I want every gun to be a laser beam, which I definitely don't, let me explain the issue with the recoil nerfs that have occurred within the past few patches. Now just as a disclaimer, I may get this timeline in the wrong order, but the events that did happen are correct. So roughly two years ago, we saw the first insane meta, that being the AS Val and the VSS. These guns were ridiculously strong and devastating. But with the implementation of the next patch, BSG had decided to nerf the AS Val and VSS to have significantly more recoil, and then along with a few tweaks later on, they effectively killed the platform entirely. Next came the SA-58. It followed the same fate, while dominating around the same time as the AS Val, only to have its recoil increase dramatically. Then from there, the M4 and the HK, and then the MP7 and the Vector. See, the general trend here that has progressively made each platform drastically worse has been recoil and ammo nerfs. Now to clear my argument again, I have absolutely no issues with balance changes as needed. In fact, many would argue, including myself, that all of these metas got stale just like the current one. The greater problem is that with these nerfs, there was simply no buffs. No addition of greater qualities to other builds, no buff to single fire or burst fire, simply just making other things worse. We can quickly see that the issue here is that generally when BSG makes tweaks, typically nerfs of certain platforms, they don't tend to buff other things, which means that after a while, everything just sort of progressively becomes more and more unpleasant to use. So then what exactly could be done instead of what has already been done? To build off my previous point of simply just making everything worse over time, I think a solid change to balancing would be to shuffle both stat nerfs and buffs around rather than simply just nerfing platforms. To explain what I mean, I'm going to explain the overall recoil nerfs that occurred in 12.12 and what could have been done to offset the nerf instead. So when the majority of the guns during the 12.12 patch collectively had the recoil turned up, what could have been done instead is to, for example, tweak the recoil system in such a way that it prioritizes precise shooting rather than mag dumping. See, what occurred when these guns were nerfed was rather than making some other facet into a new meta, what BSG did was just make full auto more unpleasant, but still have it remain as the meta, since it is still much more effective in general than tap or burst fire, which means that BSG's entire goal of reducing the meta spraying was completely redundant and wasn't successful. Overall, what we tend to be seeing right now, and what has been becoming more and more common over the past year or so, is that changes that are meant to change how players play the game are implemented, but overall end up not really changing anything, and shift players into a more and more boring playstyle or gear cycle. When you kill someone above level 25 right now, the chances are they'll probably be using an RD-704, a UMP, or a SCAR, kind of like I mentioned in the beginning. Now, obviously that's not always the case. For me, I almost always use a gun that I just feel like using, and to be honest, I've been using the break action rifle for a few days now, since I just got bored of metaguns. But generally speaking, quite a large portion of players I kill tend to be using these three or four metaguns, and that's simply because they work the best out of any of the other guns. In my mind, the fact that a 7.62x39 weapon has significantly less recoil than a 556 caliber rifle, regardless of its fire rate, kind of seems wildly unrealistic. And this can be seen across multiple platforms. For example, this MPX build versus an RD704. To me, seeing that the MPX, which is chambered in 9mm, has almost identical recoil to the RD704 is kind of ridiculous, and really goes to show how recoil changes simply aren't done well. 
But overall, to summarize what I think should be done, I think that BSG honestly just needs to kind of accept the fact that more weapons need to be viable at a given point, and that simply making every platform unpleasant to use is honestly just making gunplay stale rather than really changing any metas. Unfortunately, if BSG continues in the way that they have in the past, I'm gonna bet that 7.62x39 platforms are gonna be nerfed into the ground in the next few months, but hopefully it isn't. Now, I know I don't really tend to make this style of content, but I did feel like I needed to explain what was going on for some people who just aren't in the loop. To see more of my typical style of content, check out this video next, geared more towards how to make tons of money in your raids, or this one about the best hideout crafts. If you watched this far, I really appreciate your time, and hey, why not subscribe since you're still here? Thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic day.